Up next, we see how schools are taking advantage of social media. And dip into a yummy challenge. All this and more, Frisco ISD TV starts now. Hello and welcome to Frisco ISD TV. I'm Elijah Cervantes. And I'm Valerie Vasquez. Thanks for joining us. In its elementary, my dear, we flash back to the fall as students at the early childhood school gobbled up turkey for Thanksgiving. Students at the early childhood school sat down for a feast of their own during their annual Thanksgiving tradition. With smiles everywhere, teachers and staff prepared meals to celebrate the holiday. We are celebrating Thanksgiving here at the Early Childhood School. We're having a Thanksgiving feast with all the students and teachers in hallways and motor labs and inviting parents uh, to come and join with them. We're doing a little mini feast, giving them little portions of a normal Thanksgiving feast. This year we're doing turkey and then we're having mashed potatoes, corn, we're making a pumpkin fluff and then we have some grapes and Capri Sun. Togetherness within the school with friends and family made this event one to be thankful for. Um, got to sit here and interact with them and have lunch and got to see the rest of the, the kids and teachers and everything and um, good to, to have a chance to sit here with them and spend time during the school uh, during the school day which we normally don't get to do. Have a Thanksgiving feast! <laughs> with food, family and fun, the kids walked away stuffed with holiday happiness. I'm Ethan Newman for Frisco ISD TV. Man, that sure looks good. It sure does and I miss all the fun I had at that age. Me too. 140 characters aren't enough to handle this story. Here's Titan Page in the middle of it all. Parents can keep up with what their kids are doing at school thanks to a sharing method from a principal who's happy to keep up with what's trending. Picture this. Clark Middle School principal Joel Parton takes photos of his students hard at work and tweets them to keep his followers in the loop. I'm a big believer in communicating as much as possible. When we surveyed the parents a few years ago, overwhelmingly they preferred electronic communication. Parton also goes around the school, searching for student activities to share. My favorite thing is when one of our students has had a success and he puts a picture up there and a little note about it. He posts pictures of students um, doing something that helps the school. He'll take pictures of the kids doing various things around here and I enjoy seeing that as well has been uh, surprising is the number of parents who are actually following the Twitter account. I think that he has a very positive presence on Twitter that is very good and informative to a parent and students. Not only does he tweet about classroom activities, he also captures many aspects of student life. He tweets wonderful things about like awards and things that the kids have accomplished and stuff. It keeps you up to date on the yeah, Clark watching. events that happen daily that's going on. So that's really good. He says his following is still growing and he's trying to get as many as possible. After August, it jumped up to um, the last I checked, I believe it was around 205, 210, somewhere around there. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get every parent possible. Not only does this seem to give Principal Parton a chance to learn more about what's going on at his school, he's also getting the word out to others, making sure every character counts. I'm Titan Page for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Titan. Students at Wakeland are trying to get to the core of the concerns and find the best solutions. Here's Kyle Kang with more. Students are taking issue with the new organization at their school. Wakeland High School is paying attention as they voice their opinions. Students and staff make up CORE, an organization that hopes to make a difference at Wakeland. CORE stands for Contributing Oversight Relating Experiences, and it's basically the student organization at our school where we meet and we talk about issues that are facing the school and talk about them with the teachers and the assistant principal so that way we know administration is actually hearing what we want. We can change things or talk about things so they can help to 
to make it a better environment. Core meetings are open in structure and they discuss various topics. We've discussed how students can show more support for their teams, um, how can they show school spirit, how can they impact their physical environment. It's a way to keep ideas and concerns flowing between students and administration. Well, I think Mr. Williams and the administration here has a real desire to communicate with the students. They have an open door policy and part of that is if we can get groups of students from all different parts of the school to tell us what their experience is and so he can take those that input and put it into use. Hopefully the Corps will continue to share their thoughts and shape their school. I'm Kyle Kang for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks Kyle and best of luck to the students of Wakeland. In high tech happenings, culinary students slice and dice some fun to make a delicious dip. Here's Abby Kubnock with more. Student chefs got the taste of a lifetime during a nationwide kickoff for PepsiCo. Project Taste Test brought a world-renowned chef to the kitchen to spice things up. PepsiCo corporate executive research chef Stephen Khalil gave student groups instructions before sending them off for 15 minutes to create the perfect salsa. Can you get, can you get everything together? Sorry. Um, onion. Chef Khalil gave his appetizing opinion of their creations. The Frisco ISD CTE Center served as host of this first Project Taste Test event, and hopefully the students earned the chops from this project designed to educate students in the culinary field. I'm Abby Kumnock for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Abby. Some say culinary is an art form. Speaking of art, there was a competition featuring the non-edible kind. Here's Danny Sheehan with more. Artists from around the district sharpened their pencils and got their brushes ready for an art contest that allowed them to believe, dream, and inspire. It's not your normal arts and crafts at the Parent Teacher Association Reflections Art Contest. Drawn over these tables are masterpieces. The Reflections program is a state and national art contest where students are given an opportunity to participate and create works of art in six different categories. The young artists had a chance to express themselves in many forms through photography, film production, literature, visual arts, music composition, or dance choreography. There is plenty of diversity in the mediums, some pencil, other watercolor, and many blends in between. But what seems more impressive is the diversity in students. The visual arts category, we have probably over 500 pieces, about 600 to be exact. Um, they range from preschool all the way to high school level. Photography pieces, we have a little bit less than 100 pieces, same age range. This year's theme, Believe, Dream, and Inspired, set the background for students to paint their own picture and sketch their own world. It's me dreaming about what I want to be when I grow up. I draw me, and then I just draw a little bubble, and then I put all the things in a space. I looked at a map of the world um, because I was doing world peace and unity and stuff, um, and painted it out on a big canvas. It was a piece of art about um, if they can't walk, um, like in a wheelchair or in crutches, you could help them have, still play with you. Judging took place at the district level, and those that qualified moved on to state competition. So we've looked at the middle school visual arts, um, then we've got the primary, we've got our third graders, three fifth graders, and then pre-K. Within each of those, we pick the top three, and then those will move on to state. We had two representatives from Frisco ISD move on to the national level last year. So um, they, they won at state, won first prize at state, and then moved on to national. So we're very proud of that because we did have two, two recipients of national awards. Hopefully these works of art left impressions beyond the hands of the artist. I'm Danny Sheehan for Frisco ISD TV. Thanks, Danny. Those kids sure are talented. They sure are. That's it for this episode of Frisco ISD TV. Join us next time as we look at broadcasting from a smaller point of view. And applaud two students who won a logo design contest for a young organization. I'm Valerie Vasquez. And I'm Elijah Cervantes. Thanks for watching.